Today's video is about to be a makeup tutorial on this look. I feel like this is one of those makeup looks that is gonna make any eye color pop. Brown, blue, green. It's a really, really pretty universal look. I wore it to Disneyland and you guys all requested that I do a tutorial on it and I'm happy that you did because I loved it. Mixed in, I'm also going to give you tips on how to make your makeup last longer throughout the day because my makeup did not budge that day. It stayed totally intact, lashes included, even after all them water rides. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. When I went to Disneyland, I used three things on my skin. First, I used the Lancome UV Expert Youth Shield. This is an aqua gel sunblock, SPF 50. I like to apply a hydrating primer. This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. And I like to apply this on the like perimeters of my skin parts that I don't usually get oily. I want to stay nice and hydrated. Sometimes I bring this down my crusty neck, you know. I love this primer. It's like a glass of water for your face. And then this is key, okay? If you're gonna be out in the heat all day, I like to use a mattifying primer, so there's a few good ones out there. This is the one that I use. It's the Lancome Prep and Matte Refreshing Mattifying Makeup Primer. So I just took a little bit of that and applied it to the center of the skin, especially my nose because it gets so oily. I like to push it into those pores too, like mm, 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 mm. That is my skin prep for the moment. Now we're gonna go straight into the eye makeup. First, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Benefit Hoola Bronzer. I love using bronzers in my crease to create the shape. So I'm taking that on a MAC 224 brush. It's important to tap if you, when you pick up eyeshadow. First, we're gonna go into this inner brow bone. I'm gonna really deepen this up as if we're bringing it into a contour in the nose, but you're swiping it over, even into the brow a little bit, and then into the upper crease. What's nice about using a bronzer in the crease is that when you use the bronzer on your skin and in the crease, it all gives a monochromatic feel because all the colors are just in the same color family and it looks really, really pretty. I am dying at all of the makeup looks I'm seeing on YouTube created using our palette. It's just giving me all kinds of life. Sorry if you guys are getting sick of me reposting it on my Instagram stories, but it's the best part of creating something is seeing people's looks with it and their creativity and seeing people wear things. It's just the best part, so. What's also cool about it is that I'm finding so many new artists. So there's all these new people that are inspiring me, which I love. This is a really great beginner's makeup tip to use the bronzer in your crease because it almost makes everything just look so much better. Usually bronzers aren't as pigmented so it's a lot easier to blend and it just looks bomb, okay? So now, dipping into the Francation palette. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna be picking up Churro. Speaking of Churro, I had a bomb ass one at Disneyland, okay? Everything I wanted, I ate, okay? I had a corn dog, I had a churro, I had a caramel apple, I had a michelada. They have those at California Adventure now. I'm applying this into the outer corner of the eye and feathering it through to the lash line. I'm taking this color also into the crease. So instead of taking my crease into here, which like sometimes I'll do, it's almost just going up into this area more. I'm using a Morphe M507, and I just like to go over the edges in little circular motions to diffuse it and make sure it's all smoky and not any harsh lines anywhere. Funny, because this day I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go, you know, a natural makeup look, and then we had like a full-blown look. But this look is actually perfect for everything. Nice, it's soft, but it has, it packs some drama. I just really, really loved how this look came out. Ooh, yes. I'm picking up a flat shader brush and I'm going into basic. It's like a bone shade with a pink undertone. Just lightly pat this on the lid. I'm not trying to do a super pigmented pat, just enough to set the concealer that I placed down. And then you could even take a flat concealer brush with a little bit of basic, just graze a nice sharp line along the, the bottom of the crease. So it's clean, but it's not like boom. Now we're taking the Morphe brush with Chins and Churro, and we are gonna graze that along the whole lash line. This is great when you don't wanna wear a winged liner, you just wanna have something that makes your eyes still stand out. Make sure you take it all the way into the inner corner. 
Now, picking up a mauve story right over here. I'm using a Sigma detailed lip brush and I'm just gonna graze right over the edges of the line that we made on our lash line. This is gonna really add some warmth, some like mauve goodness. And it's also gonna just blur out the brown a little bit too. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna pick up the tiniest amount of cheens, just a little, little, little bit. I even tap it off on my hand because it's like really pigmented. And we're gonna take that from this outer corner and lightly just deepen the crease a little bit. Bring it up slightly, just like that, boo barely any. So this is one of my favorite liner pencils. This is Roach by Urban Decay. And I love applying this just like specks of it on my lower lash line and on my lash line because it has little glitter flecks. So what I did was I just grazed it along the lash line here in the inner corner. And it's gonna catch the light so nice. And then I kind of just fade it into the rest of the lash line. So I'm not taking it all the way across, but just in here. It looks so pretty in person. I love this liner pencil. Make sure you really hit it in that inner corner like tear duct because I like to bring the eye over here more. I'm kind of extending this out to give that really nice snatched look. Let's dip into this NARS Climax Mascara. I'm just gonna apply a light coat of mascara because I don't need too much just to coat the bottom before my falsies. The lashes I'm gonna put on are House of Lashes Iconic Lights. They were the perfect lash for Disneyland because they have a light band, you don't feel them, they didn't come off, and then also the House of Lash glue. If you're gonna be anywhere near water, this is the glue to go. Ardell will play you, okay? It It's a good glue, but it's like the minute you get watery eye, comes off, you know, and it gets all wet, stays wet. We can't have that on these water rides. So I'm just gonna pop these on. They're really easy to apply to these lashes and they're not too crazy. Moving on to the face. This is the foundation I wore to Disneyland and it held up. This is Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 hour foundation in the shade Bamboo. This is like a really tacky foundation, which I think worked in my favor because it stayed and did not break up. So I'm taking that on my beauty blender and I'm gonna start applying this to the center of the face first. I need to tan up my face, okay? Cause clearly like my face is pale and my shoulder is not pale. The trick is to have a really, really nice application, but thin. I actually think that I need to use my brush for this. I'm gonna be using my IT Cosmetics brush right here. I feel like this is a little bit better for this application. I feel like with this IT Cosmetics brush, you can get like a nice thin layer and just buff it all into the skin quickly. Make sure you bring it down the neck because I did it and I had to turn the car around. When I looked in the car mirror, we were like already about to get on the freeway and I was like, we need to go back home. Like I was not about to go to Disneyland looking like that, okay? Dipping into concealer now. I'm gonna use my fave Becca Aqualuminous in the shade beige. I didn't really wear that much concealer, but is this a lot of concealer to people? I feel like when people say a lot of concealer, they're like, it's just right here. So maybe this is a lot of concealer, but it's a very thin concealer. And I didn't wanna overwhelm my under eyes too much because you know, you're smiling, you're laughing, you're on roller coasters, you're making a lot of expressions. I'm gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. Give a little smile so you can go along the apples of the cheeks. Now I'm gonna take Tarte Shape Tape and I use this just to highlight down my nose in the shade medium and up here to highlight my forehead. Boom. Instant lift. You guys, living with Dia lately has just been so great. I mean, she is so funny and she's so cute. She's got like Steven though. She'll come downstairs and be like, Steven, coffee? Steven, breakfast? She is just like got him wrapped around her thumb. You know what I'm saying? She knows what to do to get what she wants around here. Let me just hit a brush up one time and diffuse these edges out into the rest of my foundation. I just wanna make sure the edges are fading into my forehead. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. I actually really like this brush. It's the number six. Don't you guys think it would be so cute? I wonder, like we should give Thea a Halloween costume this year. I wonder what we should dress up as. That would be pretty funny. Going back into my Laura Mercier powder and I'm gonna apply that to the under eyes. And I'm just, using a little bit because I don't wanna bake, I don't wanna look 
cakey or powdery in the sunlight. The least amount of product I can put on my face, the better. So I'm just setting my cheeks, the sides of my nose, under my eyes, light dusting. And then the powder that I love to touch up with throughout the day, without a doubt, number one, my powder, Charlotte Tilbury, Flawless Finish Powder, that I always have in my purse, and it's so great for touch-ups. Like, never gets cakey, looks so thin, it's just really the best powder, in my opinion, I love it. For bronzer, I'm gonna be using my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, because we use that in the crease, and I want it to all be cohesive, and then I'm using the um, Smashbox Buildable Cheek Brush. I like the Smashbox brush because it's like really, really light, so it doesn't move around your foundation too much. It's like soft, it'll like diffuse your bronzer really nicely. Hit that forehead one time. Keeping with the bronzer, I'm taking a smaller blending brush. This is also BH Cosmetics. And then I'm gonna stick it right here where we put the bronzer in the beginning. I'm gonna take that down to my nose contour so that it kind of all blends and it doesn't just abruptly stop in that brow bone and then we could take it down to this contour area. Across the nose right here. I'm taking my Laura Mercier powder again and applying just some setting powder down the center of my nose to highlight it. If you want to give yourself a little button nose look, you just put a little bit of powder and let it bake on the tip of your nose just like so. I'm gonna let that sit and while that's sitting, I'm gonna apply my blush. I'll be using Destiny. This is the KKW blush from the new Cherry Blossom collection. It's a really pretty color, just so nice with the tones that we have going on here. Love me some blush. I'm gonna apply a highlight, and actually, I'm gonna be showing you guys this highlight by Artist Couture. My friend, Mac Daddy, if you guys don't follow him, you need to, and I know he's been working so hard on these highlights. This is the shade Hot Damn. Oh yes. You know, just like a little something something. Believe it or not, like I feel like I just like to apply a little bit of highlight these days. Take this down the nose too. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the under eye, I'm dipping into Churro Otra Vez with my same little Morphe brush and we're gonna take that on to the lower lash line. Guess what? I am going to Indonesia next week. I am so excited because it looks so stunning. I'm gonna try to film a couple Halloween videos before I go. I know you guys like to start early with your Halloween looks. I'm on it, okay? I love this color, churro. Mm. It just like makes the eyes pop it's so pretty. I put on a little bit of roach just because I love the way this looks, but I'm not gonna put it in my waterline. I'm gonna put it right under my lash line. This look is so good for any occasion. You're going to a wedding, bam. You're going to Disneyland, boom. You're going to the mall, bam. You're going to a party, mm. Where else do people go? You're gonna go to the guy now? Boom. And it's gonna make any eye color stand out with this liner. We're gonna go ahead and take a nude liner pencil. I just love nude liners for the daytime and I like to put these in my waterline. This one is the Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder pencil. Now time for the lower lash mascara. We all know I'm gonna use my MAC Extended Play. This is the only mascara that works for my lower lashes. For the lips, I'm gonna be using the KKW Beauty Lip Liner. This is the shade Nude 2. I really like this lip liner. And we're gonna start low on the lips. So like my natural lip ends like right here, but I'm gonna take it like down here, okay? When I come back up this way, I go back to my lip line, natural lip line. I'm gonna take E21 smudge brush from Sigma and feather those edges out. For the upper lip, I'm also gonna overline the cupid's bow and then come back down to the normal lip line. When I first started overlining my lips, I would overline like the outer parts too and I was wondering why my mouth looked so wide. Like, kind of like a clowny and I couldn't figure it out. Makes such a difference wearing lip liner, guys, let me tell you. Makes them look plump. Takes you from looking thirsty to hydrated real quick. All right, so once we did the lip liner, now it's time for the lipstick. This is our Dose of Colors Liquid Lip, not matte. It has more of a satin. It doesn't dry down like a normal liquid lip. I see people's reviews and I'm still seeing that it, they think it's the normal lip formula, but it's new lip formula. So try it out if you haven't, if you go to Ulta or in stores, it's really, really nice. This is the shade My Main, which is my main bitch, okay? I'm gonna put a lot in the center, really just build it up there. I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna dab it into the lips. This like gives the blend from the lip liner to the lipstick a nice fade. 
I just love this combination of this lip liner and my mane. It's like perfection. Lastly, I forgot, almost forgot setting spray. The Lancome Fix It Forget It setting spray. It's supposed to hold up to 24 hours. Deflect and protect. My makeup stayed, you guys. Even after the water rides, mm. The key is less product, sheer concealer, sheer foundation. It still looks full coverage and then just spot conceal. So I think that's gonna last longer. All right, so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up because y'all be saying that nobody does makeup tutorials, but like I'm here. So if you don't give me a thumbs up, I'm, I'm gonna start talking about, you know, other things. So. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Adios, hasta luego. Bye. boom, 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 With the, brush your hair, cause you look crazy. Well, fading here. Katie. The lashes that I'm gonna bit up. <laughs> Obviously this palette, go get it. It's available at Ulta now. Ooh.